All right, guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial video. This is going to be something for the beginners. If you are an advanced Decentraland user, this is not going to be news to you. The other day, we've had a short video on POAPs and how they work and what they're for. And today, I just want to cover the page, the rewards page. And I want to cover it because yesterday we had that drop of the Atari sneaker. And it was a total mess in the end when a lot of new people tried to claim their free sneaker here by clicking the button and no one really knew where to actually mint the shoe. So let's quickly discuss this topic because I think when you're starting out a lot of these things are not straightforward and actually there is no you know, decent explanation anywhere in the Decentraland ecosystem on how this works and why it's in, in this way. So, frankly speaking, Decentraland has introduced, I think it is an, you know, I think it's an intermediary solution. It has introduced a page that is called rewards.decentraland.org. And this page is a, um, it's a buffer page. It's a no man's land. It's a, um, um, you know, a, a place between two universes where, some of your rewards may be sitting, waiting for you to be minted. Why is this necessary? Well, the thing is, if you are participating in an event where Decentraland or a, um, a new brand launching in Decentraland are trying to incentivize you to interact, to engage with the brand, and they want to distribute an item for free, like Kraken, like Threelau, like Atari, and, uh, and now also you know that Atari sneaker, when this happens and the fees, the Ethereum fees are at 50 to 100 or 200 dollars, these free items suddenly are not free anymore, not free at all. So what they have introduced is that you can still claim the item um, and you can park it on this rewards.decentraland.org page until fees have come down so you can actually claim the item again. So... Once you have claimed the item and you normally just had to come here, point your mouse at the button, click E, and uh, you would have the opportunity to claim it and then it would have been transferred to your rewards page. And then from the rewards page, whenever you feel like the fees are appropriate, you could just select the item, click here on claim that one reward, start up the MetaMask wallet and it will show you um, how much the gas fees are. So right now, if I wanted to claim that Atari t-shirt, or not to claim it, if I wanted to mint it, let's be precise in the way we talk about that. Because I already claimed it, now I just want to mint it. And by minting it, we mean using the smart contract to actually bring the item into the world. Right now, this item does not really exist yet. But there is a rule for how many items can exist. And since I have claimed the reward, I have a slot for one of these items. I don't know which number, mint number item that is going to be, but I know that I have a slot. So now if I want to actually produce, realize that item, I would have to pay $76 here for the Ethereum fees. If I'm willing to do that, I can click on confirm and then this item will be minted and it will be removed from this list, right? It will move over to the claimed rewards here and uh, I mean, we can have a look at all of the rewards that I have collected over the time. So these were claimed and minted and these are still available to be minted. So the wording used here is actually not accurate. So this is the purpose of the rewards page. And um, if you manage to click that button yesterday or at any other you know, drop occasion, you should go to your rewards.decentraland.org page. Make sure you're logged in with your MetaMask account correctly and see what kind of items are waiting for you to be minted. Now, I'm still waiting for the fees to come down. It might not be good, a good idea. The fees might not come down for now. But uh, from what I understand, these items will not go away. They will be sitting here 
waiting for a time where fees will be reasonably low to mint all of these. Well, um, I think this is it. I think for this particular video, I just wanted to quickly resolve that question, what the rewards page is for, where it is located, and how to use it. And I think we've covered the topic of minting versus claiming. And enjoy Decentraland, guys. Let me know if there are any questions in the comments section. And if this was helpful to you, do hit the like button to support me and subscribe to the channel as I will be putting out a lot more Decentraland content over the next months. All right, guys, take it easy.